Yo, what up everyone, Amir here, here on Rabbit and Snack, and getting into another album collection. This is on ODB's Return to the 36 Chambers, the dirty version. Hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rappin' and Snackin'. So just a day or a few days ago, whenever it was, I just dropped a um, video on this box set right here. So I'm not going to go ahead and get into uh, the specifics here, but I'm just going to show you all in case you didn't see that video. So this one right here is the 2011 pressing for the album by Shop Get On Down, really dope box set. I explained more in that video so y'all can peep that out, but this is part of my collection for the album. Now moving on, let's just go ahead and get started with the cassette tapes and then we'll move on to CDs and vinyl. First off right here, we have the US pressing for the album on cassette tape on um, right here, boom, boom, boom. So we have the artwork, as you know, the spine, and then the back. So this is a club pressing, as you can see, BMG Direct Marketing under license right there. Boom, boom, boom. Now moving on, we have the white cassette tape for this particular pressing, which you'll see is not on uh, my other pressing. So right there. And for this one, you don't see all the tracks like you have on the CD. This one ends with cut and heads, Whereas the CD, I'll show you where it actually ends. But boom, there you have that one. And moving on, we have another cassette tape, which is the same, just clear old ODB. And then there's your cover. This is a slight crack in it. And there you have that. Also, same situation right there. Ends with cut and heads. Like I said, I'll tell you why that matters. Moving on, we have a sealed... Shimmy Shimmy Ya. So this is one of the singles for his album. Shimmy Shimmy Ya right there. Boom, boom, boom. Super, super, super awesome single right there. Love this one. And there you have that. Now, I've always loved this cover. This is Brooklyn Zoo. Um, possibly my favorite song on the album. I'm just not certain. But really good. It says dirt right there on its teeth. Got the spine. And then right there, you have the clean LP version and the clean Lord Digger remix. So those are my tapes for the album. Moving on to the CDs, let's start off with the actual album itself. It's got a white spine. This is also the club pressing. And see how Cutting Heads was the last track on the tape? Well, look here. Bonus track CD only, Dirty Dancing and Harlem World. Boom. We got the yellow CD. We got the booklet right here just show a little little situation you know there's your cd and then you got credits and thank yous and all these things so there you have that now let's go ahead and get into some of the more unique things that a lot of people probably haven't seen and i think are very important so right here we have Brooklyn Zoo on a CD. This is like a snap case. So it just snaps open like that and then there's a CD. So what's dope about this is not only that it's snap case, you hardly see these anymore, but also you have the tracks here. Well, Brooklyn Zoo, Brooklyn Zoo, the remix. So unlike the cassette that I was just showing, these are dirty versions. So that's important. Then it has Give It To You Raw, the LP version. Well, this never made it to the album. And then it has the Give It To You Raw remix right here. So this is super awesome because on the box set that I had shown earlier, this one right here, it does not have Give It To You Raw. It only has the Give It To You Raw remix. So very important, That's uh, this has the original. I actually prefer the remix to the original, um, but some people may not. So that's pretty cool stuff. Really awesome right there. Moving on right here, this is the Raw Hide single right here, and this is totally clean. The clean version as well as Don't You Know Part 2 clean version. So Don't You Know is on the album, but Don't You Know Part 2 is not on the album. So this is also in that box set I was just showing, except the box set is the explicit version, Don't You Know Part 2. So that's important because it's longer and it's just a better um, version. You got the spine right there, and then you have the back. This also is not pressed with any sort of artwork on the front, which is why you just see the CD. So, you know, the more you know. So don't think I'm just missing it or it's not complete. Moving on, we have this right here, another single. Now, this is awesome, and I am actually pissed about this, and I'll tell you why right now. 
<clears throat> so what we have here is another um, uh, CD single, and this also did not come with front artwork. That's just how they were issued. So you have this without artwork. This is the Shimmy Shimmy Ya Studio Tone Remix. So what's cool about this, and for some reason they're not advertising it right here, maybe it's on the back, um, but this has, yeah, it's right there. This is MC8 and E40. So you have West Coast and Studio Tone on uh, the production, West Coast and East Coast, which is super awesome considering this is 95 and before everything really, really, really blew up. I mean, you had New York, New York and all that, which is going around um, in 95, but you know, this was just showing that East and West were collabing. So that's awesome. But the thing that pisses me off about this is this is the clean version. Now what's also annoying is I have not heard an explicit version. I don't even know if one exists. I've checked YouTube, I've checked comments, and people are saying they've only heard the clean version. But the clean version is still dope. It just has a lot of um, bleeps and it's very annoying, but the song and the production is great. You just wish you had one without the bleeps. This one is also um, not on that box set like I just showed you. This is on like CD single and vinyl single with the um, lyrics because the box set only has the instrumental. So pretty dope stuff, really awesome. I love this song. I just wish it wasn't bleeped out in half the song, you know? Now we have the original pressing on vinyl. This was the 95 pressing. This is still an open shrink. So I did open it. It's just still in the shrink wrap. And you have the hype sticker right here, solo debut album of Wu-Tang Clan's ODB, and then, you know, boom, boom, boom. Very, very dope. I wonder how much this goes for, this original pressing. But let's peep that out. You got the little printed sleeve right here, boom, 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 or the printed insert, I should say. And now we have the uh, paper sleeves that come with it. You know, like I said, this is just the 95 pressing, so... It's just going to be black vinyl. It wasn't all trendy back then, you know, with all that stuff. Uh, but you, know, you got the printed labels, so it's got the track list and all that. It's got Electra right there, boom, boom. And then um, there, oh, this is actually the side A, the first vinyl right here. But, you know, just black vinyl, nothing flashy, you know, just listen to the music, right? So <clears throat> moving on uh, past that, we have this right here. This is the... And also, let me just show you all one more thing on this. If you see here, once again, it ends with cut and heads. It doesn't have the CD bonus tracks, which you think it should because <laughs> you pay more for the vinyl, but that's another point for another day. Moving on here, we got Return to the 36 Chambers, the dirty version. And it's just got the sticker. It's on a white sleeve. Now, this is not the full album, as you can see. This has side one, three tracks, side two, three tracks, side three, three tracks, and side four, three tracks. So that's just 12 tracks from the album, if I did my math right. So, boom, there you have it, you know? Very interesting how they released this. So this is just, you know, like a promo version of the album um, that was released on, you know, like generic sleeves and whatever. But what's also interesting about this, is, so peep this out. This has Harlem World, which is this one of the CD bonus tracks. Look at that, Harlem World. Now, does it have Dirty Dancing? It also has Dirty Dancing. So it's got 12 tracks, but two of them are from the CD-only version, and then the other 10 are from the general album. So very weird what Elektra did here. Um, I'm sure customers were confused in the day, back in the day, and now we... We have internet and all that, so it's easy to check these things. Moving on, we have the Brooklyn Zoo single right here on vinyl. As you see right there, we have the hype sticker still on it, still an open shrink. The hype sticker is below the shrink, which I really like when they do that. Now we got the LP version, the Lord Digger version, and the instrumental. And then you got Give It To You Raw, which this is the LP version and the remix, and it has the Brooklyn Zoo remix instrumental. So dope stuff. Rawhide and Don't You Know Part 2 right here. Boom, boom, boom. Love that hype sticker. And then let's just go ahead and show y'all. Boom. Rawhide. <clears throat> Rawhide, Don't You Know Part 2. Yeah, it's just it's a dope tracks, man. Rawhide, I love Meth Man. I love Raekwon on that joint. Don't You Know Part 2 is also dope. ODB just has so much style. Um, and then now moving on to the last bit, my last part of my collection 
is the Shimmy Shimmy Ya. This is the extended version, the clean and the LP version, as well as some instrumentals right there, as you can see. Nothing on the back, hype sticker on the front, and then to show y'all the vinyl right there. Boom. And there you have it, man. That is my ODB return to the 36 Chambers collection. You know, a lot of people were, or not a lot of people, there was one person in particular that was asking about this. I don't remember your name, but um, I know you're asking about it, so there you go. I hope you are got some questions answered and you got to see the collection you liked it. I try and do requests as they come, uh, if I have time and blah, 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 but life's hectic and busy. But anyways, hit me up on Instagram and TikTok at Rappin' and Snack. I appreciate y'all as always, and I'm out of here. What's up?